Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am coming at you from a weird angle in a weird outfit in no makeup, probably gluten free digestive biscuits in my teeth, and generally looking a little bit like a sack of shit. But today I am doing a testing slash filter by Molly May fake tan review because I've used it a couple of times now and I am absolutely obsessed with it like from the very first time I used it I thought it was absolutely incredible both times I used it I got like not a different result but it applied a bit differently so I feel like you do have to prep the skin a bit before which I haven't massively done I tried desperately to um, scrub off my layers of fake tan but it is quite difficult to get off that's the only thing that I would say but I will go through that at the end but yeah I think I'm just gonna get cracking with slavering it all over my very pasty body. And for anyone that says that I should embrace being pal, yes, pal skin is very, very lovely, but, but I just prefer having a bit of a tan and there is nothing wrong with that, but I'm sure some people will find something wrong with that. So, because I feel like I like to, I've had so many fake tan disasters in the past, I really like to sort of rub it all in and take my time. I'm gonna get started or straight into just chatting about the actual product. This is the packaging. I don't know why I just did this as if I was like really leaning out and then doing that with like a tiny little lipstick so that you could see. This is the packaging outside. It feels really luxurious. It's really, really nice. It's probably my favorite fake tan packaging. If that's even a thing, I'm making it one. Um, I really, really like this kind of case in that it comes in. This is the actual fake tan bottle. I really like it. Um, I think she's done such a good job at making it look quite sophisticated and cool and not too much quite simplistic as well um this is the extra dark boost because go hard or go home anyone that knows me knows that when i fake tan i like to be david dickinson times a thousand so obviously went for the extra dark mousse i think that this was either 22.99 or 23.99 and the just the sort of original dark mousse is 19.99 not sure why there's difference maybe the like actual tanning ingredients is more expensive don't know, probably never gonna find out. <laughs> so, it says, I just found some like info that I thought would be good to use. Um, the ultimate real life filter, our easy to apply fast absorbing mousse, gives you a flawless, long lasting, natural looking tan, filtered by Molly May. Tanning mousse is filtered by Molly May. Tanning mousse is enriched with natural oils, aloe vera and green tea to moisturize while giving the perfect filtered golden streak free glow to your skin. And it does recommend to use it with the Molly May tanning mitt. I didn't actually buy it because I bought this tan the day that it went live and I was coming back from, I think I was coming back from Amsterdam, literally landed it went live and I was like oh I'm gonna quickly order it on my phone didn't even think to look to see if they had a mitt and they do have the little like tiny face mitt which I really wish I'd have bought because I feel like it probably is so useful and actually I've heard really good things about it but next time so I'm gonna link it up below if you want to look at ingredients go fill your boots I think I'm just gonna start whacking it on my body obviously <laughs> Obviously, I fake tan all over, and the internet does not need to see what's underneath this. So I'm going to start on my arm so that you can see the application. I'll try and move up close without my lights going absolutely insane so that you can see what it applies like on the skin. And then I will finish the rest off, get something on to cover myself up, and come and check back in with you. So, I've moved in a bit closer, hopefully you can see that it actually applies so, so, so well. I've got like a bit of streaky tan left on, which like probably wasn't the best idea, but if there is anything more classic me on YouTube and just generally in my life, it's this and just being unorganised as a whole. Um, I think the thing that I, like my first initial impressions of this when I first used it was like absolutely blown away that it goes on so smoothly. Like when I actually managed to, oh god I've got that annoying bit where I've had previous fake tan on and it just has like one big, it's fine I'm gonna sort it at the end. <laughs> 
for we love a tanning disaster on the day we're filming a tan review video what i was saying was with other tans i feel like and i'm a big like fake tan fan so i will go through some of my favorites in a second as well just so that you can see like what this is comparable to um but with other fake tans i feel like and is this just me I will put it on and think oh it looks a tiny bit patchy a little bit messy in places and then actually more often than not in the morning when I wash it off it actually looks quite nice and it's quite even whereas this is probably the only tan that I've ever used that actually goes on enough like for context this is the morning and I'm going out um, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day out so I would never normally go out with a layer of fake tan on because I just think you look like a, a bit of a hot mess but um this one is actually so just seamless when you put it on the skin that well you can do it i'm gonna do it anyway whether i look like a tit or not i'm gonna actually concentrate on trying to make this a bit even now because i feel like despite being a strong independent woman i'm actually not very good at multitasking we are going in with a chest do you know what I've never done, which I do see people mention quite a lot? I have never um, done the makeup brush thing. I see people all the time like get a dense makeup brush and just like put it on the chest because I feel like on like chest fake tan doesn't tend to uh, stay on very well. Also, if you can see patches, it's because usually obviously I'd be completely naked. Oh, we've got ourselves a scenario here. Usually I'd be completely naked and now I'm obviously not so when i turn the camera off or turn you guys off i will actually make sure this all looks quite seamless but yeah maybe i'll give the um makeup brush trick a trick a little shot other arm we're going in with the other arm i'm going to do this really quickly show you a bit of the leg just so that you can see in fact i might do one leg so you can see it before and after and then i'm going to finish the rest of my body and check back in i have real like and just oh really elegantly boot that over um i have like my order and also i'm sure you can see the difference in my back as well which is going to be really cute um i have my order and i feel like when i don't sort of do the right order i'm going to have like patches everywhere it's just a bit of like i mean it's definitely not ocd but you know i just like to get it in my right way wow incredible english from me there I don't have enough space to show you one leg next to the other but I feel like you can see the difference in this section I probably also haven't shaved in like a million years so I'm really sorry about that um, but I feel like you can see the difference like do you know what I'm actually going to attempt to is this a terrible idea possibly but when do I make sensible decisions can you see the difference between this leg and this leg? I feel like hopefully you can. This is really quite dark, but like also really, um, oh, elegant. Really, really like even, applies really nicely. From what I remember, it dries quite quickly. Let's see what, oh yeah. Yeah, so it should be fine to like put clothes on and go. I'm gonna finish the rest of my body. I'll be back in a minute. I have done the rest of my body and then put on this, uh, very revealing kimono because I wanted to show you I don't know if you can see my legs hopefully you can't see anything else um, I wanted to show you kind of the overall colour now that it's done I have put some on my face which I always do I don't know where I was going with that but it abruptly stopped I do feel like my face looks the tiniest tiniest bit obvious that I've got tan on but I am going to put makeup on over the top so you won't notice anyway so yeah that is my first layer i'm not actually sure that for this part right now i might have to like film a second layer another time like in a week when i do my tan next because i wasn't really paying that much attention to time and i definitely need to be out the door in like out the door in an hour which means i'm not going to be able to wait the appropriate time i might be able to squeeze it in i don't think i'm going to so i think i'm going to leave this on for by the time I get in later, probably like eight to 10 hours, wash it off, show you the color. And that's why, by the way, even though it's like 
daytime at the moment I've done it with my lights and um, everything closed just because just that I can keep the light in the same all the time and you can actually see it when it's washed off and then I will either double fake tan like do two layers and then put some pictures or put some clips once I've done it after so you can see them next to each other or I will work out a solution so that this is an actual good review ish hey guys so it is now the following day basically what happened is I had my tan on all day I went out went to get my brows done <coughs> excuse me went to see my friend Mark Ferris um, then I went out for wine and I didn't get back until very very late so basically I didn't have a chance to show you and then wash it off I did take clips through the day so I'll and the odd picture of like my hand in comparison to my friend's hand um, so I'll include that so you can see how it like developed with me wearing it through the day but washed off ta -da! this is the tan as you can hopefully see, it is a beautiful, beautiful bronze colour. Again, this is the extra dark um, colour. <laughs> Why am I so useless? But this is the extra dark colour and I ended up only doing one layer. I am going to insert a picture because I remembered that the second time that I used it, I actually did two layers and I've got a picture of me. I have a picture um, with me with the two layers of tan on, so I'll include that here here or just somewhere over here and um, but yeah this is the color I honestly as I've already said I've used it before and I am absolutely obsessed with it even around the hands like any sort of marking would only be because I'm not that great at applying it but it is completely like I don't know if you can actually see but it's like completely completely flawless and I'm just like pulling this up so you can see how it applies on the back I had no one to apply it for me so I was like kind of going nuts myself and probably going over areas twice three times and it is completely even I'm gonna make a terrible terrible decision and get on the bed to try and show you my legs um hopefully you can see let's move that out of the way i definitely just need more space in life and especially in this room hopefully you can see the legs they're nice and bronzed and and very very even as well so yeah completely lost my travel that's it this is the tan is there any info that you need that i might have not already said probably tanned enough to be able to tell you like how many uses you'll be able to get out of the bottle but i have now used it four times and there's definitely still loads left in the bottle so good value for money i would say it is comparable if it's if you're getting the extra dark one and it's 24 pounds or 23.99 um it's so comparable to like the main tans on the high street at the moment sandra pay um vita liberata bondi sounds they're all around that price so Honestly, if you couldn't already tell, I am the most, the most, most, most impressed. I've already ordered two more because I am that bitch that doesn't like to run out and be like halfway through a leg and, and just be like... <laughs> Here I am with my one tanned leg. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want any more sort of like first impressions, even though it wasn't a first impression, but like testing videos and what you'd like them for. Let me know if this sort of video is even what you'd like from me. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit in 2020. I'm desperately trying guys. So any constructive, that means nice. I mean, it doesn't necessarily, but what I'm trying to say is constructive criticism, please. Like, please be nice. <laughs> Let's keep the trolls away from 2020.